history, as you know, is a pioneering photographer, crucially important for documenting this very ephemeral art form. And I want to thank all the artists, the writers, the musicians, the dancers, and everyone else whose work is here in Henry's photographs. Thank you for being with us. You were here when it started and you make us Bronx proud and now it's a global phenomenon thanks to your work and to Henry's work of course. I want to just give a few thanks where thanks are due so bear with me. This exhibition was originally produced for Centro de Arte Tomás y Valente in Madrid and curated by Suso33 and I want to recognize Suso. I want to give a shout out to Team Suso, especially Estrella Garcia. Yeah. And everyone else from Team Suso, thank you for all your work. Suso, thank you, my little The exhibition is produced in consultation with Eric Firestone and Sasha Jenkins. We are so appreciative to Eric and Sasha. Where's Eric? Eric. Eric. Sasha, if you're here, come up. I think he's running late. He'll be here. I want to thank Team Firestone, especially Kara Winters. Kara, raise your hand. Jordan Smith, Kate Moger, and everybody else from Team Firestone. And Team Mass Appeal working with Sasha, especially John Conclo. I want to thank our team here at the Bronx Museum of the Arts. Small but mighty we are. That's right. I especially want to thank the Director of Curatorial Programs, Sergio Bessa, who brought the exhibition to our attention and urged us to have it here. I want to thank our Deputy Director, Claudio Rodriguez, who, who, who masterminded this installation, and our Registrar, Skalman Hastanan, also, for all of her hard work. You all work tirelessly. I want to thank our trustees who are with us. I know I've seen um, Elizabeth Cook-Levy, Steve Shapiro, Joyce Hoagie. There may be others in our midst. Thank you to our trustees. Okay, I have a long list of supporters for this awesome show that allow us to bring it to you in our publics for free. So bear with me. I have to read their names because we couldn't have done this without them. Cause, Michael D. and Kristen Elkins. David Forbes and Velda Turan, Janet Goldman, Hal and Jody Hess, Supreme, West Rubenstein especially, Powerhouse Arts, Philip and Cheryl Milstein, Kickstarter, our first Kickstarter, <laughs> Eric Firestone Gallery, Mass Appeal and Sasha Jenkins, Ann Brown, Shepard Ferry, Rob Cristofaro and A Life, who did our awesome pop up shop in the front. Um, and the opening tonight, which is sponsored by 1800, especially Jasmine Desai. All our entertainment tonight, we have some very fabulous entertainment coming for you. And I want to thank Latoya Wilcox on our team who organized this great opening and our communications team cultural council. Woo! Woo! Yes. Okay, I'm almost done. So check out our great slate of fall programming. It's all free. Send your friends, send your families, come back many, many times. And next Thursday, we have our Bronx Ball. If you'd like to join us, please go to our website. That is a fundraiser so we can keep being free. We think it's super important that we're open to everyone. And we want you all to be welcome here. And now, last but certainly not least, the great Henry Chalfant. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you for this. Thank you for this wonderful show and wonderful opportunity. And um, Bravo. I would, I Bravo. would just second everything that she said. We've had such a, an amazing opportunity and time putting this together with the museum and with the gallery and uh, the board of directors and everybody. I won't repeat what Deborah said. I, I really want to. I got to say how happy I am that this came to the Bronx. That this came to the Bronx Museum. I spent so many hours up here of my life uh, documenting these trains. And this, this is where I came to do it, mainly. I apologize to Brooklyn and the other boroughs and everyone because I didn't, it was too far away and I didn't really, I, I came here in rush hours every day from, for months 
to right get the trains. Yeah, I was in the right place. <laughs> so the Bronx, you know, I got letters. I got letters from people all over the world who say, you know, they often write, "God, I wish I had been born in the Bronx." Uh, this is back in the days of hip hop. So um, it, I've been told that I was going to walk around and give a talk about everything, but. Probably it's like too big a crowd now. But anybody, come up to me and ask me all the questions you want. I just hope you enjoy this show. And uh, thank you for all the writers in the room and all the artists who made this happen in the first place. You know, I get thanked a lot. And I always have to really acknowledge the people who came before. I couldn't have done it without you. So enjoy this show. Bravo, Henry. Bravo, bravo. There's drinks upstairs on the second floor and downstairs. If you haven't found it yet, please do. Okay.